squad Mizzy world snowfall review now i wasn't able to give you all my snowfall reviews like i wanted to over the past few weeks just simply because i was super busy i was dealing with finals in school i was doing interviews trying to edit my interviews and get them out there for y'all but i got time today so today i'm gonna do a review on uh episode nine and the season finale for season two Plus, I'll do a brief overview for the entire season two of Snowfall. And um, I'm going to give a brief prediction on what I expect and what I want to see in season three from Snowfall. Or what I expect to see from season three of Snowfall. A brief prediction. So, let's get into the review. Gang. Episode nine was the fuck crazy. A lot of shit came out that I didn't expect to come out. A lot of shit happened that I didn't expect to happen. But let's start off with... Uh, the scenario that they shed the least light on, I believe, and that's with the CIA boy and his brother. Now, the CIA boy did come back and he did free his brother, but that was after days and days of these motherfuckers feeding this motherfucker coke. Then when they finally get free from the fucking cartel brothers and the Jewish boy, because he, he showed up, this motherfucker collapses with his nose bleeding and they leave it off at that. So I don't know if he passed, what happened, and they didn't even touch on it at all in the season finale. So I don't know what happened with that. But it was just crazy how Franklin's first connected Jewish bull linked with the fucking cartel brothers. I feel as though that team right there is going to be a little issue for not only the CIA bull going into season three, but also Franklin possibly going into season three. You feel what I'm saying? Now, the way these situations played out with Gustavo, Lucia, and with Franklin and Kev, I did not see them playing out that way at all. Like, I seen them playing out that way just in different ways. That shit was just crazy how they turned that shit around, man. I, I love Snowfall for that. But let's touch on the situation, the first one with Lucia and Gustavo. And once they got up out that situation, once the CIA bull got the DEA's investigation shut down, they and they were released, the first thing Lucia and Gustavo started doing was trying to pack and get the fuck up out of there. But who came for it? The Mexican bull. And just like I said, if he didn't have his daughter in his arms... He would have killed Lucia right there in that fucking car. Because that's the first thing he said was, bitch, you could have got my fucking daughter killed. Slammed her up against the wall. Boom. Started fucking her up. Then, you know, Gustavo come out of nowhere trying to save her and shit. So they start rumbling. They take that shit outside. And this fucking Mexican hitman with that knife. This nigga is killing everybody with a pocket knife, bro. He takes it out. Swoop, boop, boop. Catch Gustavo in the right place. They both fall over the fucking railing. And... I did not expect Gustavo to get killed, man. Now, Lucia did come out right and started shooting the Mexican bull, but that motherfucker slick as a fox. He got the fuck up out of there, so that was crazy. Now, I don't know how Lucia is going to continue on because that was her lover. I would like to see her just go into a rage like, yo, I don't have no family. I don't have Gustavo left, man. Y'all all about to get all this work. But honestly, I don't see how she's going to do it because she has no fucking muscle. Like I said, Gustavo was gone and she done damn near killed her, her whole family. That was a cartel. So that right there is probably the situation that's the most interesting to me is how they going to present that coming into season three. You feel what I'm saying? Because they left that shit totally alone in the season finale. Now, let's get into the way the last situation played out in which it was the most unpredictable to me. It wasn't unpredictable to me that Franklin shot Kev. It wasn't unpredictable that Franklin shot Kev to save a war. It wasn't unpredictable that Kev died from the motherfucking uh, gunshot wound. It was unpredictable that Franklin actually got booked that same episode for the murder of Kev. I did not see that shit coming at all. If you see my predictions... Not one motherfucking time did I say that Franklin was going to get booked in this fucking uh, this season. Now, the thing with Gustavo and Lucia, I thought as though Lucia was going to get clipped. So, when Gustavo got clipped, it was like, they always like this. So, if Lucia get clipped, or if they try to clip Lucia, it wouldn't have been too far-fetched that Gustavo would have got clipped instead. So, that wasn't even, that wasn't so unpredictable. But this shit was the fuck unpredictable, because I did not see that shit happening, man. Like, at the end of the day, I didn't think Kev got killed from that gunshot wound initially. Then once you seen the episode come on and you seen the DA bitch coming down asking Lucia who that was. And you seen Into the Far, you seen they had that tarp over Kev. And I knew right there that he was gone. You feel what I'm saying? So that shit was just crazy to me, man. And uh, how everybody reacted to it. How Franklin's mom reacted to it. How Franklin reacted to it. How Leon almost turned his back totally on Franklin because of that shit. But then came back. You feel what I'm saying? 
That was just crazy, but yeah, man. Franklin getting booked. I did not predict that shit right there, man. Now let's review the season two finale of Snowfall. This review is kind of is going to kind of be brief because uh, Lucia wasn't in this episode at all. They didn't shed any light on that situation at all. So that's just up in the air up until season three. Um, the DEA boy was briefly in the season finale, but they didn't touch on whether his brother survived the nosebleeds and none of that shit. So this is basically a review of how Franklin handled the jail scene and what it basically symbolized in these past two season finales. Because if you really look at it, in the first season finale last year, he had to graduate to having to lay the murder game down because he was hesitant about doing that throughout season one, even though he was in the cult game now. And he should have known that it's a different type of game, man. The only thing that uh, really matters is laying that iron fist down. So in this one, it was kind of like he had to graduate from jail and actually grow up and be that, that boy officially like, yo, nigga, I got money on the streets and I got hitters on the streets. Act the fuck up and you will get touched. But let's get into the review. Now, what did Franklin being in jail represent to me for the season finale? To me, it was a lot of foreshadowing into season three. You feel what I'm saying? Because if you ask me, when he first came into that cell and the Mexican bull said, no, you sit right there. Then when they cut to the next scene and the, the Mexican bull came in and they busting it up, it's three Mexicans busting it the fuck up. And then the one turn to Franklin and say, what size are you wearing? He take his sneaks. And all that, just that whole scenario with Franklin going back and forth with the Mexican bulls, he fucking actually elbow him later and get his fucking sneaks back. To me, that's foreshadowing that. He killed Kev over something that was going to happen inevitably anyway. And that's a war between the Mexicans and blacks. I feel as though season three is going to be maybe not as big as a war between the Mexicans and blacks. But it's definitely going to be a lot of turf wars going on because now they both know the recipe. And now it's just about who got the most turf when it comes to money and who's going to make the money. You feel what I'm saying? But yo, I knew motherfucking Ray Ray was going to make an appearance in season two eventually. I just didn't know it was going to be the season finale. If you don't know who Ray Ray is, Ray Ray is the person that Franklin forced to kill his mans in season one. That whole scenario was crazy of how they was beefing and all that shit. But basically, Franklin forced Ray Ray to set up his right hand man. But not only that, he forced Ray Ray to kill his right hand man. Because if he didn't kill his right hand man, Franklin would have shot him in the head and he would have shot his right hand in the right hand man in the head. You feel what I'm saying? But as soon as I seen Franklin sitting on that, I mean Ray Ray sitting on that bunk bed and he seen Franklin, I knew he was gonna fuck him up. Then once he came and tried to play it off like, oh yeah, we from the same hood. I know we had beefs, but we gotta look out for each other in here. I'm like, he is gonna fuck him up. He's just trying to get his guard to come down. And what he do? That same night, boop, bang, bing, boop, they jump in the shit out this motherfucker. You feel what I'm saying? So that shit was just crazy, but I just love Leon's reaction and Jerome's reaction when they seen Franklin's face the next day. Jerome like, oh, Ray Ray did that to you? You tell that bitch ass nigga, I know where his grandma stay. I know where his little cousin stay. I know where his mama stay. I'm like, yeah, Jerome. He said they'd kill all the motherfuckers. They touch him again. I'm like, yeah, that's how you got to be in that game, bro. You can't have that man getting beat the fuck up in there because he ain't got nobody in there. So his muscle was on the outside, you feel what I'm saying? And then Leon's reaction was just like, nigga, you better go the fuck up in there and beat the fuck up whoever the fuck you see first, you feel what I'm saying? Then he broke the phone and everything. Just Leon's passion, I felt it because I know that's how that's how I would have reacted if that was my man, you feel what I'm saying? Like, nigga, you tripping, you better go the fuck up in there and show them, the, show them who the fuck we is, you feel what I'm saying? Show them the fuck you are, you feel what I'm saying? But that scenario was just crazy, man, and it was just dope as shit, you feel what I'm saying? Now, in the season one finale of Snowfall, it kind of, like, foreshadowed how big Franklin was going to make it, how big Franklin was going to get. To me, the season two finale of Snowfall kind of foreshadowed how the cat and mouse game between Franklin and the CIA bull was about to begin because Franklin was just sitting there talking to his aunt, like, how did he get me out of that situation? How did he do this? Then he was talking about how he went and dropped off bread to his old connect just as homage and shit. And he was telling him the, the deal that he made with the DEA bull. And Franklin smart ass just put two and two together. He like, he getting guns. He getting so many guns he can fund the war. America is helping the Hungarians in the war right now. Is he selling dope to me to fund the war for the United States? Is he with the government? 
Franklin Smart as shit, man. I don't know how that shit gonna play out in the season three, but just the way they leave it, leave an open door for what you can expect for the next season, that's that's great writing, man. You feel what I'm saying? Now, overall, season two of Snowfall was the fuck crazy, man. It was a lot of murder, a lot of chaos, a lot of fucking money, a lot of deception. Man, the shit was just crazy, man. You came in, you ain't know if Pedro was for real. You ain't know if uh, the, the, the bitch was a cop. You ain't know if Kev was, you know what I'm saying, trying to take over the business. Like, shit got crazy, man. The aunt stepped away for a little bit. It was just a beautiful well put together and logical season two for snowfall you feel what i'm saying season three my prediction is just even more chaos even more murder even more money and um just a lot more unpredictability because i see that they setting this up to throw us a lot of haymakers that we not seeing so we gotta be on guard and i'm gonna just have my eyes very vigilant i don't know what's gonna happen with lucia i just want to see her turn the fuck up as far as Franklin and the CIA, boy, I know they about to start their little cat and mouse game. I don't know if they're going to get away from Gabby or if Gabby's going to kind of take over. Lucia's spot is kind of like the Mexican female role in this situation or in this show. But, um, yeah, this shit is popping, dog. And honestly, I'm going to be honest, I didn't think it was going to be a season three after Franklin got booked. I'm like, damn, they might really be ending this shit. But once I seen that post on Instagram, that just says season three. Snow falls, the streets not ready. Oh, this shit's about to say turn the fuck up. But let me know what y'all think. For the people that just started watching Snowfall just because of my review, thank you. Let me know what y'all think about this. I see y'all next year. What's my bold prediction for next year? Man, Snowfall gonna be giving me a motherfucking uh some type of motherfucking um sponsorship off this shit. Real shit, man. Gang shit, y'all know what it is. Mizzy World Snowfall review. Gang.